Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I am doing the next episode in the series of the history of makeup. This is the 1960s. This was a much um, more fun look to do. Uh, it was a lot different than the 50s and 60s in case you couldn't see. Um, and a lot happened in the 60s as far as makeup was concerned. So let's dive into the information and then we will move on to the tutorial. So the elegant eyes and loads of powder from the 1950s um, continued into the early 60s. However, uh, the 60s had two different defining images. There was the classic early 1960s and then the late 1960s London look. An international English-based company called Yardley of London, or better known as just Yardley, tapped into the new youth look with model icons Twiggy and Jean Shrimpton. Now, I've never heard of Jean Shrimpton, but I'm pretty sure that anybody who's ever touched makeup knows who Twiggy is. Um, and those two were um, notorious for having the um, London look back in that day. Um, so teens in America learned of this look from a column in an American teen magazine called 16. And this is what changed the look from the classic early 1960s look over to the more mod um, late 60s look. In the 1960s, emphasis on the cat eye or the wing disappeared and shifted to lashes. Um, false eyelashes were introduced in the 1960s, which I do have a set on here, um, and they became really popular and lips became paler, um, not as bold red, more light red, light pinks, um, as to put more emphasis on the eyes. So that uh, is the deal with the 1960s. I had a really, um, the research was just more fun for this. Um, this decade, I don't know, it was a little more interesting to me to find out that um, a lot of our looks and our inspirations came from London. Um, I knew Twiggy was a big supermodel. I guess I didn't realize how big she was back then. Um, so in the tutorial, I will go into how, what I used to get this look and um, that's about it. So. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If you like this video at the end of it, please remember to give me a thumbs up. Um, and if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And without further ado, here is the tutorial on how I did my 1960s makeup. Bye guys, love you guys. So I've already done my foundation. Uh, I'm just gonna go in and fill in my eyebrows with my e.l.f. brow pencil. Uh, the foundation that I'm using is the Ramel Lasting Finish 24 Hour Breathable Longwear Foundation. Uh, it is a medium coverage foundation and it's in the color 101 Classic Ivory. And then the powder that I've used to set it is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Ultra Definition Powder Foundation in the tint Medium Light. And uh, I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows like I normally would. I might make them a little bit thicker um, as eyebrows back then were not as thin and shaped as they are today. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my eyes. I'm gonna use the Milani Smoky Essentials Everyday Eyeshadow Collection in palette number three. Um, blues, grays, and whites were really big in the 1960s. I thought this would be a perfect palette for me to use. <clears throat> so I'm just going to start with the lightest color and blend out 
uh, my eyes until I have a nice smoky blue look. And just to add a little bit of retro glam to this look, I'm gonna go ahead and add some white eyeliner to the water lines in my eyes. And I'm also gonna put some white eyeliner on top of the black liner that I used um, over the eyelashes. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of mascara using the L'Oreal Palace Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. Um, I'm going to put it on really thick on the lower line, on the lower lash line because they actually used to put false eyelashes down there. I don't think I'm that good so I'm just going to try to pile on the mascara so that it looks thick. And then just add a little bit to the top just to hold my real lashes to the false lashes. So now I'm just going to add a little bit of pink to my face by using Maybelline New York's Fit Me Blush in the color Pink Rose. And then to top it all off, I'm just going to use a little bit of the NYX HD Finishing Powder.
And just to finish up this look, I am going to go in with a lip liner, the Milani Easy Liner for Lips in the color Most Natural. And then over that, I'm going to be putting on Milani lipstick in the color Dulce Carmelo. And there you have it. There's my final 60s look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. I love you all, and I will see you soon.